when you use the computers, phones, or tablets, you see the KB, MB, or Gigabyte. These words can be confused for someone. This video will tell that what is its mean and more. Let's start. Bit is binary digit, that is the smallest unit of data that a computer uses. It can be used to represent two states of information, such as one or zero. Computers use the binary number system to manipulate and store all of their data, including numbers, words, videos, music. If we have eight bits, it is called a byte. A byte can represent 256 states of information, for example, numbers or a combination of numbers and letters. These bytes determine that how much we have stored data. More bytes is more data. You can think that each byte is value of space it takes to store. One byte would be equal to one character. A hundred bytes would equal an average sentence. We will explain this expression of measuring data step by step. A kilobyte is 1024 bytes. It would be equal to a paragraph you are reading, whereas a hundred kilobytes would be equal an entire page. A thousand twenty-four kilobyte is a megabyte. One megabyte is equivalent of a small book. An MP3 audio file of a few minutes or a 10 million pixel image from a digital camera will take up few megabytes. Most people simply tell that. 1000 kilobytes is a megabyte, but actually 1024 kilobytes is a megabyte. It is reason is 2 power 10 equals 1024. A thousand megabyte is called a gigabyte. Gigabyte is still very common term used these days when referring to document space or drive storage. An ordinary computer might have 8 gigabyte RAM. 750 GB of persistent storage. A flash drive might hold 32 GB, 64 GB. A hard drive might hold 500 GB, 750 GB. Figure 2 GB per hour of video, so on. And then, 1024 GB is called a terabyte. These days, 1 and 2 terabyte drives are the normal specs for many new computers. Mostly the storage capacity of large storage devices is measured in terabytes. Now consumer hard drives reach a capacity of 1 terabyte. A terabyte could hold about 300 hours of good quality video. 10 terabytes is enough space for the printed collection of the entire Library of Congress. That's a lot of data. You got the processing of measuring. And then comes the petabyte. Most of storage devices can hold a maximum of a few terabytes. Therefore, petabytes are used to measure the total data stored in large networks or server farms. For example, internet giants like Google and Facebook store more than over 100 petabytes of data on their data servers. 20 petabytes is enough space for the amount of data processed by Google daily. After petabytes comes exabyte. Exabyte unit of memory measurement is so large that it is not used to measure the capacity of storage devices. Several hundred exabytes of data is transferred over the internet every year. 5 exabytes is enough space for all the words ever spoken by mankind. 15 exabytes is total data held by Google. After exabyte comes zettabyte. Zettabyte is used to measure the large amounts of data and all the data in the world is just a few zettabytes. After zettabyte comes yottabyte. It is very large number that human can evaluate. One yottabyte is enough space for entire world wide web. Thank you for watching. I spent much time for created video. Don't forget subscribe my channel. If you like video, please like it. If you want to do anything, make comments.